On the line with us right now is Congressman Matt Cartwright. Congressman Cartwright, you have sent letters to the IRS about the stimulus payments. We have read them on the air here. People, people are so appreciative of you fighting for these. What's going on, Matt? Yeah, you can't really uh, pick up a better antagonist than the Internal Revenue Service. <laughs> I guess not, <laughs> for sure. But you, you, you have refused to give up the fight here. And and when when I read your last letter on the air, we had now believe it or not, your staff knows this. Eight hundred people texted and said, "I didn't get my stimulus payment yet." Yeah, well, that doesn't surprise me. And what's really outrageous is when you read, they sent $1.4 billion in stimulus checks to people who were deceased. Uh, I mean, uh, they, they they can't get out of their own way. Um, and, uh, I mean, there was a joke going around. I guess somebody told me uh, on The Onion, you know, which is a spoof uh, news website, The Onion. Uh, and the headline was, um, heaven is really flush right now. <laughs> 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 I'm sure it is. And and Blatt, we had lots of people who got those checks and didn't know what to do with them. And I finally read the, the IRS direction. But a lot of people had cashed them before they knew they were supposed to send them back because they thought they went into the family estate. So it's a mess. Well, it is a mess. Now, to be fair about it, uh, you know, the uh, Treasury Department is going, you know, was going through an exercise they had not prepared for. They'd never done before. Uh, uh, sending out so much money in stimulus checks, uh, they're they were bound to make make mistakes. They're doing on on the job training, and and you have to you have to spot them a little bit of uh, uh, you know give them a little slack. But when they send 1.4 billion out to to deceased people, and meanwhile all of these people who are supposed to be getting the money don't get it. I mean, I've had, you know, Frank, on, on March 23rd, uh, we opened up a hotline, a coronavirus hotline in my office. Now, you know, I get nine employees uh, in Pennsylvania, and what we did was we staggered their hours uh, so that we could provide hotline service from 9 a.m. until 8 p.m. every weekday, and we're still going with that. In fact, uh, Bob Morgan, my district director, just tallied up the calls uh, a, a week ago, and at that point we had received and handled 5,700 phone calls uh, in uh, since March 23rd, and it's and it's still going, and and you can still call us. It's 570-341. One zero five zero, but so many of these calls were, were about where's my stimulus money? I'm supposed to get twelve hundred dollars. Uh, I have adult children at home. I was supposed to get money for them. It, it didn't come, and uh, all of this is because it's coming from the the Treasury Department, which is in the executive branch, um, and the uh, IRS is supposed to handle that. Um, and uh, Steve Mnuchin is the secretary of the Treasury. And uh, a week and a half ago, he came out with a statement saying, um, well, that uh, we never promised that we would be transparent. What? Holy smokes. <laughs> uh, that's unacceptable. And, and Frank, you know, I, I worked hard to get on the House Appropriations Committee, and I'm on the subcommittee that oversees financial services. So uh, wait, till we, wait till we get uh, Secretary Mnuchin in front of us again. Uh, I'm, I'm going to give him a hard time over that because that, it's unacceptable. I, I um, agree. And, and yes, we're, yes, we're going to give them slack because they haven't done this before, but they've got to be I mean to say that they they didn't promise to be transparent that's crazy we all ought to be working together to, I mean we're already willing and able to help them uh, navigate this problem and, and look for solutions